Hey YouTube, it's JJ on NASCAR. This is going to be an update video on, on a couple things that have been going on for the past five days or so. Um, first of all, I have not been very active on YouTube because of school and lack of video ideas. But, th but now, I'm going to start doing something that um, not too many people have actually thought of. And yes, I've actually claimed uh, the first person to think of this idea. Um... But before I say what it is, I do need to make an update video before I get to the diecast review. Trip to Burkle's episode 13, that will, that is scheduled for a Sunday, April 28th release. Brendan is working on it, so it's supposed to be up by Sunday, he said. Um, that is the update as of now. I don't know if it will be up earlier, but, but, ju but before I say this, I don't really want to make you all feel disappointed so here's the scoop trip to Burkle's episode 13 was not was it went well I mean everything went I mean everyone showed up and Kenny returned but it won't be as good as I thought as I planned it out to be because number one we were not able to film uh, Bar the Barney Skidder Chester because I forgot to tell Brendan that uh, to bring it and I which I thought he already knew about it so that's one thing. Number two, this act this will be a short episode. Um, I thought I filmed a little bit more, but I didn't. So unfortunately, this episode will not be very long. And um, I'm pretty sure that it won't be a huge, huge deal because I know that probably not too many not too many of people watch the entire video, an entire 18 minute video. I mean, I'm I'm glad if you do, but I'll be glad. I'm not surprised if you haven't. But, I mean, it'll still try and be as entertaining, but um, it was not, the outcome was not as good as I thought it was going to be. So, we're going to try, so for episode 14, which is hopefully scheduled for a June date, that is hopefully supposed to be a little bit better than um, the 13th episode. Barney and Chester, I hope, will be able to appear in this episode. And Rob and Kenny are, are going to be in it, as well as Joe Donahue. Subscribe to him, he's a really awesome guy. And, um... Tune in April 28th for the release of Trip to Burkle's episode 13. And, um, so yeah. And I'll, and, uh, on with, off with that other little update. Now, let's get on with the video. What I've started to do is, since I want to technically start getting back into the reviewing business, but I don't have anything to review, what I decided to do was, because over half my diecast reviews were made in 2010, I decided that if you have an Instagram, you've seen stuff like uh, Men Crush Monday or Women Crush Wednesday or something like that, like to correspond with days of the week. But I think the most notable of all of those uh, things on Instagram is Throwback Thursday, where someone takes a photo of when they were like little, hence the term throwback, and f put it post it on Instagram. I can understand why Throwback Thursday, not Throwback Tuesday. But what I've decided to do was maybe. It seemed like a good idea to correspond with my diecast review. So, every Thursday, starting today, if to see how it goes, if if it goes well, I'll keep doing this. I'm going to do a diecast review on an on a car that I originally reviewed, most likely back in 2010, and make it a lot better because the, my 2010 diecast review, some of them were good, but some of them were terrible. And I think the most appropriate one to do for episode one will be on. Tony Raines' 2007 DLP Chevy COT. This was a car I got at Brickles in 2007. And the reason why I picked this car for the first uh, edition of Throwback Thursday Diecast Reviews is because this, uh, this was my third Diecast Review video. The first video in which I reviewed one car, also my third video, for the, my first like five or so videos were Diecast Reviews. And it was also the first video where I mentioned Brickles. Because this car I got in June of 2007 at Brickles for, um, I don't know, it was a, it's a CFS car, as you can tell by the bottom. So I think this car would be a good way to start out Throwback Thursday diecast reviews. And I'll see how it goes. If it's not doing so well within a couple weeks, then I'll stop it. But for now, this is edition one of Throwback Thursday diecast reviews. So main colors of the car are green, red, black, blue, and white. Main sponsor is, of course, DLP. HDTV Texas Instruments Chevy. Got this car. Like um, I don't know how much a CFS car costs at Brickles because I have not seen a CFS car at Brickles for quite some time. 
So, like I said, main sponsors DLP, HDTV, 3M, EA Sports, Mac Tools, other little sponsors. Remember, this was 2007 where I didn't keep the boxes and I screwed around with the cars. 96, Mac Tools, other little sponsors down here that are worn out. DLP, Texas Instruments, HDTV, um, other little sponsor, Armor, nothing up on the splitter. DLP, Texas Instruments, HDTV. DLP, Texas Instruments, HDTV. DLP, Texas Instruments, HDTV. Other little sponsors. 96, um, 3M, M, other little sponsors with uh, sticky Goodyear tires. In the, front, in the front of the car, we have uh, the place where, right below the grill, where the two green, like, zigzaggy lines that are outlined in red kind of, like, they dip below the 96, come right back up and just zigzag all the way down and intersect or meet at the bottom of the grill right above the splitter. That is about the same way with those. Right underneath all that black, it all that green and red is primarily black. So... Yeah, the uh, the red is out. The red of the green zigzaggy lines are kind also like kind of zip up and then dip down below the 96, kind of come back up and then just zigzag right above the tires and then just cross is and all the way goes down and meets right at the center of the splitter. And right below all that green, like I said, is a lot of a lot of black. That is basically the primary color right underneath the the green zigzaggy lines. I'm sorry about the noise in the background if you can hear it. Um, the main the main sponsor at the at the back is a is dark. Um, is a black just what basically dominates the entire rear end of the car. The top of the car and mainly the center is mainly a bluish with um, the occasional white and green. And the hood is that is obviously blue with a with white uh, DLP fonts with a red Chevy logo. The only thing that's not blue and white on this car. The splitter is just black and it's a little bit chipped because I've, pl I've played with this car before and wore, and wore it out. And... Um, the the grill is just obviously uh, blue right around it because I'd say blue is the main sponsor of this car. Uh, this number is white outlined in black, white outlined in black, and green outlined in red. If I had to give this car rating, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It is a really really nice car, and also like I said the first time where I mentioned Brickles and the first video, my third video, my first uh, video to review one car. So that is pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed edition one of Throwback Thursday Diecast Reviews. Tune in May 2nd for edition two, and I'll see you guys later.